This lesson was prepared by Andy Long and Sam Drip as part of the National Science Foundation supported Boat of Knowledge in the Science Classroom books. This lesson covers the topic of acid mine drainage, its history, origin, and treatment. This PowerPoint is to be presented in conjunction with hands on lab activities provided with the lesson and the virtual boat game available at the App Store. Southeast Ohio was extensively mined in the late 1800s and early 1900s, primarily through underground mines. After World War II, Ohio was also surface mined. Currently, mining in Ohio still occurs, but at a much smaller scale. Mine drainage is one of the biggest environmental problems associated with the mining industry. In Southeast Ohio, mine drainage is the single largest impairment of surface waters. Acid mine drainage produces iron complexes which precipitate from the water coating the stream bottom with yellow boy or orange rust. In addition to increased iron, acid mine drainage also is very acidic as sulfuric acid is generated in the abandoned mines. Coal in the southeastern Ohio is relatively high in sulfate and iron in the form of pyrite. As pyrite is exposed to oxygen and water during and after the mining process, sulfuric acid is generated. The decrease in pH suspends iron and other metals in solution. Eventually, this mine water makes its way to the surface and enters streams. As the acidic mine water mixes with the neutral stream water, metals precipitate from solution. Although the pH of the mine water increases after mixing, it is still very acidic. Acid mine drainage can be treated to some extent. The goals of acid mine drainage remediation is to eliminate the source of acidity or raise the pH. This is accomplished by the addition of alkaline material. The second goal is to remove metals from the water. This is accomplished by settling ponds or sacrifice zones. Usualization reactions involve an acid and a base which produces water and a salt. Typical alkalinity reagents are sodium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide, and sodium bicarbonate. The alkaline reagent most often used in acid mine re remediation is calcium hydroxide. Neutralization is dilution at the molecular level. The addition of the solvent to the solution reduces the original solute concentration. The addition of OH negative will dilute H3O plus concentration. Then it is M. Recovery can be achieved by hydrate lime, caustic soda, or magnesium hydroxide. In each reaction, metals are collected as metal hydroxide compounds, the same type of compound that covers the streams impaired by acid mine drainage, iron hydroxide. Passive treatment of acid mine drainage are effective at reducing acidity and precipitating metals. Acidic mine water flows into ponds lined with limestone. As the water enters the pond, the pH of the water is increased and the metals are precipitated. These can act as single ponds or in concert. Active treatment is also effective at treating acid mine drainage, particularly in areas with rugged terrain. As water flows through the active treatment facility, alkaline material is added directly to the acid mine water. The problem with these treatment systems is that they are not sustainable. Recently, there has been a lot of interest in sustainability in business and education. The ultimate product, service, or system is one that uses resources sustainably, involves quality of life, and is affordable. Previous attempts to remediate waterways have not been sustainable, mainly because of the costs are too high. To offset the cost of treating acid mine drainage impaired streams, scientists and engineers have developed methods to capture and sell the products of the neutralization reactions. Iron hydroxide collected from the remediation sites can be turned into pigments for paints and plastics or into bricks. We will continue this lesson by extracting iron from acid mine drainage waters using a neutralization reaction. These pigments will then be used to create paint that you can use to paint a picture.